My number one hack to real estate millions revealed in this video. If you follow along and if you do this as a beginner, this will drastically increase your speed from where you are now to becoming successful in real estate. So one of the things about real estate investing that really blows me away is people treat it differently than they've treated everything else in their life. And here's what I mean. Think of anything you've ever become successful at in your life, you know, whether it's your profession, your career, driving a car, playing a sport, anything like that. What is the one characteristic that you do in this that uh, makes you succeed? First off is you don't go, let's use a different example. Let's pretend you're uh, an airline pilot, right? The pilot doesn't just read a book called How to Fly and then, you know what, show up at the airport, 747 loaded, gonna go fly across the ocean. That's not how it works. Yet, every day in real estate, people think they're just gonna watch one or two videos or read a book and then just go right to it, right to it. Now, <laughs> unlike uh, flying the plane across the ocean, sometimes people make it, they get a home run and this video is not about that. I'm gonna talk about what you need to do. So before we continue, I'm Dustin Hahn. I specialize in tax lien and deed investing and real estate. We do wholesale, we do fix and flips, but mainly real estate through and through. I've been doing tax liens and deeds for 20 years. So if you wanna learn about real estate, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video. I have a totally free mini course on tax liens and deeds. This is the only thing where you could buy property up to you know, 90% below market value, earn 18 to 36%. It's a free mini course on tax liens and deeds, nothing to buy, no credit card, totally free. Check that out if you like it. So the, the theme here, for whatever reason in real estate, people get so upset if they read the book or watch one video and they don't get a deal. And I'll use tax lien and deed investing as an example where they read the book, they go to one sale, they don't get anything and they're sad. Whereas everything else in your life, there is a road of practice and dedication. Now, when it comes to becoming like a doctor or a lawyer or proficient in a profession, it takes years and years. With real estate, put in an hour a day, a couple days a week, and you will get there. The more time you put in, the better, obviously. But my number one hack in this business is to take some time and actually practice where you're not outcome dependent like a, like a friggin' starving animal in the desert that hasn't seen food in friggin weeks and that's that's really how a lot of people approach this business is they go they watch some videos and then from there maybe they have a deal on the hook but they haven't practiced they don't know how to comp properties they don't know what things are worth they don't know how to do the research properly they screw up the deal because they don't know how to talk to homeowners you know what's the point of going through all the books or getting leads and then you screw it up because you can't talk to a homeowner. You're super nervous, you know? Imagine you read the book, you get a deal on the line where maybe you can make 50, 60, 100,000 bucks and you don't know the terminology because you're nervous, you're stumbling over your words. So why not spend a little bit of time every day or every week practicing real estate? comp some properties, figure out what it's worth, okay? Do some research, research a property, go on Zillow, find a property, find out what's owed on it, what the bank owes, what's the liens on the property, stuff you're actually gonna have to do. Because remember, homeowners are gonna lie to you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times I've had people forget they have a second mortgage on a house or forget that, oh, my wife's on the title as well and you know they're divorced and she's gone so what i recommend you do is practice this game okay go on zillow go on craigslist find some for sale by owners talk to people role play get a script follow it practice you know and you probably even get a deal along the way um from there record your conversation of yourself now if you want to record the other person get permission to do that obviously but this way you can listen to yourself you would be amazed at how many filler words that you're probably using that make you sound not very educated on the topic or not very professional. These days there's like a friggin' record amounts of people that use just filler words like, you know, um, uh, so, uh, like, like 
like I'm interested in your property and um, how much uh, do you, uh, uh, you know what I mean? You just, you literally sound dumb. <laughs> Don't be that dumb person. Practice this stuff, practice the script, get a script, practice it, okay? Um, seek some feedback, get somebody else, get a professional or somebody who does real estate or just anybody to listen to that conversation. And even just you listening yourself will help a lot. Practice objections. You know, they're gonna have concerns. The seller, you know, they're gonna ask you, uh, <laughs> why are you offering me that price? You need to have your comps ready. Say, hey, there's similar properties in the area that sold for this much, that's why. Um, it's just so important, okay? You need to go through those cycles of practice to get this business and why not practice before you're there on the real deal like i got into this business 20 years ago and man i sounded like a babbling idiot and uh i would role play and practice with friends we'd have objections you know we go back and forth with the script and when you role play get hard questions from your friend because if you go through the hard questions or through the script with somebody who's difficult um in that situation you'll be prepared when it's the real deal and you won't have to go into the game and completely unprepared, you know? So that's a huge hack. If you just do some practicing in real estate, it's gonna help you out so much, so much. In fact, go do it right now, you know? <laughs> as much as I'd love you to watch more videos, go on, find some for sale by owners, call them up, offer them, you know, <laughs> half the price, offend them. Uh, just get that practice talking to these homeowners do some research, get some comps, and you're going to be on your way, okay? Set some goals. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna call and have 10 uh, seller conversations this week. You can even call realtors. Just get familiar with this business. You as a beginner, you need to immerse yourself and expose yourself. How do you expect to go from nothing to, you know, this is a competitive business. Um, tax liens and deeds are a great advantage to get these properties. But, you know, even if you just go to an auction, you're going to need to be dealing with buyers and sellers and realtors and title companies. So get familiar with it now, start to practice, and you can do it. Um, I recommend getting started with tax liens and deeds, obviously, this channel. Uh, from there, this book will show you exactly how to start, how to find properties up to 90% below market value, how to earn 18 to 36% interest. It's a full free mini course below. Uh, tax Lien and Deed Investing 101. It will show you how to start, how to get your first tax lien within 30 days or less. And uh, if you want my help, there's a link to book a call below. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Share this video if you like it with somebody who could use it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. Appreciate you tuning in. See you in the next one.